Hey guys, Dave here from LDX Design, and I want to go through LearnDash's pricing. So LearnDash was purchased by Stellar WP and Liquid Web back in September of 2001. Their pricing has been increasingly more confusing over the times they've added new features, they've started premium add-ons, they've got a hosting product. So it's a lot more confusing than it used to be where you would just buy the plugin and that was it. So I want to break down the LearnDash pricing page, what these different plans mean, what you get in these different plans, and just answer some of your frequently asked questions about LearnDash pricing. So let's dive in. So the first thing just up front that I want to mention is that LearnDash is not free. They do not have a free version. It is only available as a premium plugin. And if all you want to do is just know the price, there are different prices depending on which plan and how many sites you're going to use. But generally speaking, for one website, for LearnDash, it's $1.99 per year. Stick around if you want to hear how that breaks down between different add-ons and hosting and some other stuff coming up. But $199 a year is generally speaking what LearnDash costs for one site. Lifetime deals or LTDs. LearnDash, maybe about 10 years ago or so, eight, nine years ago, they did have a lifetime deal, but they haven't ever since. And I highly doubt that they will in the future. So um, don't hold your breath if you're looking for a LearnDash lifetime deal because you will probably never see one. Does LearnDash offer a free trial? They do not. Um, they do not have a free trial, but they do have a demo site that you can play around with. They do require you to give them your email address in order for you to gain access to that demo site. I plan to do a full breakdown though, so stick around and I'll add it to the description once I've created the video, but I'll do a full run through of the entire LearnDash platform that is coming soon for you guys. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see that and get notified about that. But they do not have a free trial and you can use their demo, but you do have to sign up, give them your email address, and then you can go through a, a brief demo from their site. And the final question I'll answer right up front here is coupon codes or discounts. So a lot of people are asking, is there a LearnDash discount code or can I get a coupon somewhere? Um, the answer is maybe. It depends on when you're watching this video, what time of year it is, and if LearnDash is running a sale or a discount. So I actually am tracking when LearnDash does run discounts and when they have different deals going on. And uh, I've got a, a special page on LDX Design just for that. So look in the description. You can check out that discounts page. I try to keep it updated as best I can. So if you're looking for a LearnDash deal, that's the place that you're going to find it. All right, so now that I got those questions out of the way, what I wanna do is jump onto their pricing page and just break this down for you so that it starts making sense and you understand what you're buying and what comes included with the different plans. So right off the get-go, I wanna mention this Member Dash plugin real quick because this is a completely separate plugin. It does not add any LMS functionality to a website at all. It is completely for membership sites and building communities. So you can protect some of your content and you can build membership sites, but it's not needed to run LearnDash, and if you buy it, it won't give you any type of LMS. So keep that in mind, it's totally separate. Um, it is a little confusing to kind of list it in with everything here, but just know that it's a totally separate plugin. We're not gonna worry about that today. We're just gonna talk about LearnDash and creating an LMS uh, with WordPress. So MemberDash is off the table for this video. I'll talk a little bit about, uh, I'll talk about it more in another video. I'll actually break down exactly what it is, do demos, all that kind of stuff. But we're not worried about Member Dash today. We're just talking about Learn Dash. So there are generally two options when it comes to Learn Dash. You've got the Learn Dash plugin, and then you've got Learn Dash Cloud. Learn Dash plugin is what has historically always been offered. That is the plugin, the files that you install on a WordPress website that gives you the ability to create online courses and set up an e-learning platform or an LMS with WordPress. So that is what the LearnDash plugin is. That is for people who want to buy their own WordPress hosting or maybe already have an existing WordPress site that's running and you wanna add LearnDash to it. What you want is the LearnDash plugin. So you will buy that plugin, you will install it on your website, and then you'll be able to start creating uh, with LearnDash. LearnDash Cloud, which you'll see down here, you get the same thing. You still get the plugin, all the files to create an online course and a whole platform. But the addition is, LearnDash is gonna host that site for you. So they're gonna provide WordPress hosting in addition to giving you the LearnDash plugin. There's also a few additional benefits you'll see down here. You get Pro Panel, Solid Security Pro, and Object Cache Pro as well. So Object Cache Pro real quick is just a performance plugin. Um, it does come with a pretty nice value because it is a good bit expensive. It, it's somewhere around, I think 70 or 80 bucks a month. It comes out to a little over $900 a year. So that's a nice feature that is gonna help your, uh, improve your performance, especially for bigger LearnDash sites. Solid Security Pro is $99 a year. It's not really necessary, I'd say, but it is, a, it is a good security plugin. It will add some additional security. Definitely not 
required and there are free security plugins that you can add. Um, and honestly too, if you have really good DNS management and really good hosting, then you're already halfway there in terms of your security. You really need to do some password stuff to make sure people are using secure passwords. Um, keep those locked down, but for the most part, it's not necessary, but it's a nice add-on. And then you get ProPanel, which is LearnDash's reporting plugin. Typically, that's $49 a year for one site. You get that here included with LearnDash Cloud. So Cloud includes hosting and a few other plugins. The LearnDash plugin itself is just the plugin that you would install on an existing WordPress site or a site where you plan to get your own WordPress hosting. So the pricing for the LearnDash plugin, you get all the features regardless of which plan you have. The only difference is how many sites you're gonna use it on. So one site is $1.99 a year, 10 sites, $3.99 a year, and then limited sites for $7.99 a year. And then on the flip side, LearnDash Cloud, do keep note that you can switch between paying annually and monthly. It's a little confusing because they put this monthly price right here, um, even when you select annually, but look underneath and you'll see the yearly price listed down here. So if you're gonna pay for a whole year up front, you know that you're gonna stick with LearnDash Cloud, you know that this online course stuff you're building is gonna last for at least a year, go ahead and pay up front for $2.99 a year. That's the starter plan, and then they've got a growth plan, $4.99 a year, and a pro plan, $9.99 a year. Then you can pay monthly as well if you're not sure about things and you wanna just try them out for a few months before you commit to something longer. You can pay monthly, it costs a little bit more per month price, but it's still a pretty decent deal here. Starter, 29 a month, growth, 49, pro, 99 a month. Now, what's the difference between starter, growth, and pro? So we can click on compare plans. We can pull up this little chart. The main difference right here is gonna be number of learners. Um, they give you some discounts on premium add-ons if you get uh, more advanced plans and a free domain, which is 10 bucks a year. You can just buy that on your own. I would recommend doing that anyway. Um, and then the rest of this stuff for backups and SSL certificate um, and storage, you probably shouldn't run into an issue. So um, you get a ton more storage on the bigger plans, but that's only if you are doing things that we don't recommend. So if you're storing your videos on your own hosting site, which we do not recommend, then uh, you may run into some storage limitations. Maybe if you're uploading a ton of really large PDF files or something of that nature, you might run into some of these issues, but for the most part, you shouldn't have to worry about the actual storage on your site. And then PHP workers is tied to number of learners. So how many students that the hosting can handle at the same time. So LearnDash does mention here that these are the recommended number of simultaneously logged in users. So they're saying that you can have a thousand people logged into your site all at the same time using it and still be fine on the starter plan. Likewise on the pro plan, it goes all the way up to 25,000. Now I will say I don't like putting things out there that I haven't tested and don't have data on, but I will say right off the get-go, these numbers are pretty high and the pro plan is $1,000 a year and they're saying 25,000 learners can be on that site working on it at the same time. That seems like a ridiculously low price to give you that many learners. So I am a little bit skeptical on those numbers. I'd love to hear some real data if anybody's out there who has a thousand people logging into a LearnDash site at one time and is using LearnDash Cloud, please let me know. I'd love to hear how it's going. I hope that they are delivering this because if they are, it's an incredible value for the money. Um, it's just no other hosting company I've seen gives that kind of resources for that low of a price. So um, take that for what it is, but I just wanted to mention that. So that is the breakdown for LearnDash Cloud. One thing I wanna mention with Cloud and with the plugin is with both of these, you get access to all of LearnDash's free add-ons. So they have free add-ons, they also have premium. We're gonna look at the premium add-ons in a minute, but I just wanna briefly mention the free add-ons. So the best way to show you all of the different free add-ons is I'm in my LearnDash site under LearnDash LMS and add-ons. And here you can see a list on this initial page of all of the free add-ons. The only exception right here is ProPanel. I have that installed, that's premium. Everything else you see here on this page is a free add-on. I will include a list of all the free add-ons down in the description, as well as another link to our website where you can view all of those free add-ons that are included with both the LearnDash plugin and LearnDash Cloud. So those are the free add-ons. Now let's take a look at the premium add-ons. So if we keep scrolling down on the LearnDash pricing page, you will see that they have four premium add-ons, ProPanel, Gradebook, Notes, and Groups Plus. 
So Pro Panel, we've talked about, this is their advanced analytics or reporting, tracking enrollment, monitoring assignments. You can figure out what learners are struggling on if you're getting caught up on certain lessons or topics. You're, you're gonna want Pro Panel because basically all you get is pretty much a CSV file. That's the only reporting that Learn Dash Core actually has in it. So you're definitely gonna want Pro Panel if you want any kind of reporting or analytics on what your students are doing. And now all four of these premium add-ons are all priced the same. So they're all 49 for one site, 99 for 10 sites, and 199 for unlimited sites. So that's Pro Panel. Then we've got Gradebook. Gradebook you can think of as reporting and analytics, but for quizzes. So not only does it give you more data for the admin on all of the quizzes and questions that your students are answering, but it also allows you to create custom report cards um, and do some weighted grading stuff, but those report cards you can show to the student. So think of that as like your reporting on steroids, but only for Learn Dash quizzes. Then we've got Learn Dash Notes, which is probably what you're thinking it is. You can allow students to take notes um, on all of your course content. And it gives you a little bit of two-way communication as well between the students and instructors. But basically this is just a tool to allow students to take notes on all of your content. And then the final premium add-on is Groups Plus. This was actually created by a member of the Learn Dash community and it did really well. He did an awesome job with it. Learn Dash ended up purchasing it from him and now they offer it as an official add-on by Learn Dash. So this basically lets you set up different organizations and assign team leaders. Um, it's great for those who want to purchase courses for other people in their organization and then allow those people to sign up and take those courses without having to pay. So you can actually buy courses and buy seats for other people in your company and then assign team leaders and those team leaders can see what those people are then doing in that group within the courses and in the quizzes and that kind of stuff. So that's what that's uh, groups plus and they're all the same pricing 49 99 and 199. The final thing here is bundles. So this is something that they've added fairly recently. Adds a little bit more complexity to the page. It gives you more decisions to make, which usually I'm not a fan of to have these decisions on a pricing page, but that's why I'm doing this video. So there's two different bundles you can get. Both bundles include the Learn Dash LMS plugin. So right off the get go, you're only going to want to buy these bundles. I would say if you're buying a Learn Dash plugin, if you're doing Learn Dash Cloud, you probably don't want to buy these bundles because they include Learn Dash. So you're paying an extra $199 a year when Learn Dash is already included in the cloud version, right? You've already kind of paid for it in the cloud, so you wouldn't want to also buy one of these bundles. So they're really only for those people that are buying a Learn Dash plugin and not Learn Dash Cloud. So keep that in mind. So they both include Learn Dash plugin itself, and then the Student Success Bundle includes Notes and Gradebook, and that's $249 a year for one site. So if you were to buy these three things individually, it would actually be $48 more. So you're saving 48 bucks. And then you can see the price here for 10 sites and for unlimited sites. I will mention, in most cases, I don't recommend student success only because it does not include Pro Panel. So you'd have to buy that separately for another $49 per year. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well just get for $49 more a year, you get Pro Panel, but you'll also get Groups Plus. So even if you don't need Groups Plus, or you're not thinking about using it right now, you may in the future, and why not have that in your toolkit just in case um, if you're gonna pay the same exact price anyway. So I really don't understand why in the student success bundle they didn't include Pro Panel, because honestly student success, I mean being able to track what your students are doing is crucial to their success. So to me, that should be in here. Because it's not, I don't really recommend it. The Ultimate Course Creator Bundle, that is something for basically the ultimate course creator. If you are looking to build the most advanced WordPress LMS you can using Learn Dash, then this gives you all of their premium add-ons, Pro Panel, Groups Plus, Notes, and Gradebook. So this will actually save you for one site, saves you $96 per year uh, from buying all of these individually. So it's a good deal if you know that you need all these plugins and you're going to use them. And lastly, I'll just mention that Learn Dash does have a 15 day money back guarantee. So if you purchase this, you start using it, you don't love it, you can get your money back as long as you reach out to them within 15 days. So I hope that helped you really break down the Learn Dash pricing page and hopefully I explained the difference between cloud and the plugin. You've got all that. If you guys have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to chime in and try to help you. If you need help choosing a plan, I can do that as well. And then don't forget to check the description. I will have links to uh, to LDX Design, where I've kind of gone through all the same stuff in writing, included links to everything. You'll be able to see different tables for Learn Dash Cloud. I've broken it all down, 
down in there in the description. So check out those links and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more LearnDash content and other content about other WordPress LMS platforms. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.